There we go. All right, so y'all make sure I wrote down the payment plan right. I think I did. I'm going to plug and chug because that's about the only thing I have to write because I can do everything else on the calculator. So we got 120,000 times 0 0.04 over 12 all over 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.04 over 12. And I'm just going to do MT in my head. So N times T, well, 3 times 12 is 36, so that would be 360, but y'all check me. So you got 360 payments. Yeah. It's so that's six. what you're going to type in your calculator. So we're going to go over here, and I'm going to attempt to do this with the mouse, and it's not fun. but All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the fraction first. So, and of course this thing, is there any way I can get rid of that bottom? I know. Uh, I guess I'll just pull this up a little bit. And of course it did that. Thank you very much. I try and I try. I just need it to go up just a few. I guess that'll have to work. All right, point zero four divided by twelve, and we're going to save that. Y'all check it; it should be threes repeating. We're going to save that. Stow alpha f for fraction. Clear. All right, so one hundred twenty thousand. times alpha f. My numerator, I'm going to write this down for you. Ooh, I don't know why I hit that. Urgh. I got 400. Y'all check to see what y'all got. So I got 400 for the numerator. And I'm going to stow that into alpha n. At least I can see this calculator a whole lot better than the one in the room. My new glasses come today, I think. I'm going to be styling and profiling. All right, so the bottom, we're going to add 1 plus the fraction. So I'm going to clear this, and I'm going to say 1 plus alpha fraction. Enter. So that's inside the parentheses. I'm going to raise that to the negative I'm trying to hit negative 360 power and that's enter and that's that number and then 1 minus second answer enter and that's my denominator so I'm going to write that down for you 0.698 dot 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 And the dot, dot, dots means leave that in your calculator. Do not round it. So I'm going to hit Stow Alpha Denominator. And now I just do Clear Alpha Numerator divided by Alpha Denominator. And that's dang all equal to your payment. $572.90. $572.90. That is your monthly payment. Now, how many payments do you have for your house? 360. So, to find out how much you're actually paying for this house, and my payment is not $572. I wish it was. Then I could get me another truck times 360 and that's going to be how much you actually paid for the house actually and what does D stand for depression 
actually paid for the house. So let's take that and multiply by 360. Miss Jeter, Miss Jeter texted us how she texted me yesterday. She said, you, were, you wasn't kidding when you said D stood for depression. I said, yep. I said, amazing what you would have done if you had learned this in high school differently. What would you have done in high school differently if you had learned this back in the, what, ninth, tenth grade? Twenty thousand two hundred and six thousand two hundred and forty three dollars and forty one cents. Now to find out what the interest is, you take that amount and you subtract the one twenty. So let's do that. One hundred and twenty thousand from two oh six forty three two forty three. Now of course you would add the change if you were doing this in a test question or a homework question. So two oh six forty three minus hundred and twenty thousand. So just the interest is $86,243. That's just interest. $86,243. And you need to put interest on here. In other words, that's nothing but pure money that you're paying the bank to borrow $120,000. How does that make you feel? Depressed. Depressed. Well, actually, you're not supposed to learn this because they don't want you to learn this because then you'd be more aware of what's going on. So, knowledge is power. There's your question. So, let's see what they ask. Let's see what the question is going to ask. It's going to probably ask for those first two things. But no, it's not. It's just going to ask for one thing. And it's 206, 243, and you feel good about yourself. And you move to the next question. Next. Next. We did, did we do compound interest? I believe we did. I think we did compound interest and continuous interest. Did we do both? Yes. Okay, yes, we'll move on. Compound interest. I put a lot of these on the test, and I don't do it by mistake. I do it on purpose. These, the compound interest, the continuous interest, the depression problems, those are the ones I pull up the most. I put on test the most. Okay, that's where we left off the other day. All right, so yeah. go ahead and consider the following couple who are engaged to be married. Assume that each person takes one exemption and the standard deduction. So one exemption and the standard deduction. So that's almost $10,000 or a little bit over $10,000. So you, they each do in this right here. Answer the questions below using tax rate in the table to the right. Katie and Todd each have an adjusted gross income of 183000 Okay? Each? That gum. I don't find Jeez. out what they're doing. They're probably drug dealers. All right. <laughs> $183,000. Okay, we're supposed to be jealous, and we're supposed to say, well, they should give half of that. They should give half to of us. that. That's what you're supposed to say. Calculate their income tax. If they delay their marriage, they should delay their marriage for, for at least 10, 15 more years until next year so they can file their tax return as individuals as a single tax rate, all right? So their income tax would be, so I want you to figure it, 183000 
Now, they're going to subtract this amount right here, and then they're going to run that through here. So you only got to do it once, and then multiply it by two. You with me? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to let y'all write that question down, and I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of figuring over here. So that's 183,000 minus somebody, let's see, what is that, $10,400? Is that 10400 Somebody add up the exemption and the deduction for me. Ten thousand, ten four hundred. Okay, and subtract that from one hundred eighty-three thousand. That'd be one hundred and seventy-two thousand six hundred. Yes, sir. One hundred seventy-two thousand six hundred. That's their taxable income. Now they're going to run that through the probably which bracket? The fourth, the 28%? Yes, 28% tax bracket. So that means every dollar you make, if you made $183,000, you're going to give Uncle Sam almost 30 cents out of every dollar that you make. All right, so go ahead and run that through. I want you to run it through the tax code. And then married, we'll do married on the right side. Okay, married, if they do married, they're going to do 183 times 2. And they're going to take off, so that would be 183,000, which would be 360. Three hundred and sixty-six thousand. Three hundred and sixty-six thousand. Those are the, these two people are the people that buy themselves a car at Christmas and put a bow on it. Y'all seen those commercials? <laughs> that's that's yeah. these kind of people. <laughs> Multiplied or minus. Let's see. That's going to be sixteen thousand seven hundred and fifty. Somebody check that for me. Sixteen thousand. Well, no, it'd be per person. That'd be eight thousand fifty. Eight thousand be be eight thousand one hundred. Would it not be? And that'd be twenty thousand eight hundred. Somebody check that for me. Twenty thousand eight hundred. You would do the twelve thousand seven hundred, and then you would do forty fifty times two because there's two people. Somebody add that up for me and see if you get twenty six or twenty thousand eight hundred. And that's going to be three hundred and thirty nine thousand two hundred, I think. Three hundred thirty nine thousand two hundred. I need somebody to check these numbers for me. That's what I got. Okay, and that's going to put them in the married bracket at what? 33%, right? Yes, sir. All right, so run those two through. And I'm going to go ahead and start setting it up for at least the first one, because that's going to be 9325 times 10. 9325 times times 10 is equal to 932.5 and then that first one is going to be 18650 18650 times 0 0.10 is 1865 yeah 1865 so now I'm going to draw my little arrow and put this down here and put this down here. All right, I'm just going to get away from this right now 
and that's where I am. So, darn, I need that. I need that tax bracket. Um, let's see. I'll just go back and forth, I guess. All right. So at fifteen percent, I'm gonna put that right here times point one five, and then right here times. It went away. Five. That's ninety three twenty five, and that's eighteen six fifty. Okay, the next batch is thirty seven nine fifty. Thirty seven nine fifty minus and seventy five nine hundred. Seventy five nine hundred. So that's what I did. So thirty seven thirty seven nine fifty thirty seven nine fifty minus ninety three twenty five and multiply that by point one five. Y'all check my numbers. I got four twenty four two nine three point seven five. Four two nine three point seven five. And then clear. And then seventy five nine. Seventy five nine hundred minus eighteen six fifty. Eighteen six fifty multiplied by 0 0.5. 85 87.5. 85 87.5. Okay, now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to use another color. And I'm going to take this one down, and I'm going to take this one down, and that's going to be 37,950, 37,950, and that's going to be 75,900, and that's going to be times the next which is 25%. Okay, what's the next? Well, 25%, 91.9. Nine. I don't know why I put a minus symbol there. 91.9 and 153.1. All right, so go to it. I wish I could move this thing up a little bit. Let's see if I could. No. Maybe if I just make it smaller. Let's try this. There we go. Hey, I tell you what. There we go. All right, so clear. And we're going to do 91,900, 91,900 minus 37,950, 37,950 times 0.25. And that gives me 13,487.5, 13, 13,487. Point five. Now remember, remember we're supposed to stop at what? 28%. So that's our next one. So we're going to stop. We're going to bring this down. I need another color. 
Let's do I'm gonna do pink. So there's my bring that down. 91, 900, and we're going to subtract that from, let's look at our question. Oh, I think it's going to be 172, but let's see. Yeah, 172 because the next batch is 191, and we don't have 191,000. We have 172,000. So we're going to do 172. 172,600 times 28%. And over here, we're going to keep on going with this 153,1. 153,1. One. And we're going to keep going with the next one on this one because we got to go to 33% there. So let's go to the so the next one at 28% here is 233, 350. 233, 350 minus, and that's at 28%. And we didn't do that one at 25%, so we got to do that one. Okay, so go ahead and calculate those while I catch everything up. So I'm going to go ahead and do this green over here because I didn't do it. 153, 100, clear. 153, 100, minus 75, 900, equals times 0.25. And y'all check my numbers. If y'all see something wrong, let me know. 19.3. So that's at 19.3. Even? Yep. And then I'll go ahead and do these in pink now. So 172.600. Times 0.25. Now y'all can probably go a lot faster than me. Because I'm doing this dang mouse. Minus 91.9 equals. And that's going to be multiplied by 0.28. And I need somebody to add these up for me. 22,596. 22, I need somebody to add those up for me because I don't. I'm gonna go ahead and do this other one over here. Okay, so 233, clear. 233, 350. 233, 350. Minus 153, 1. 153, 1. Equals multiplied by 0.28. And that's going to give me... 22,470. Now, we stop at 33% on this next one, so I'm going to use this purple, and we got to take this one down to the next level. 233,350 from 339,200. times 0.33. So 339, 200. 339, 200 minus 233, 350. 233, 350. And I'm going to multiply that by 33%. So you pay 33 cents on every dollar. And that gives you 34,930.5. 34,930.5. And I need somebody to add all those up for me. Okay, did somebody add the left-hand side up? What did you get on the left-hand side?
One second. I'm finishing it up. Huh? I'm finishing it up. One second. And we got to multiply that by two because whatever we get over here, we got to multiply it by two because it, that's dead. There's two singles. And somebody be adding up the right hand side. 18, 41,000. 41,000. 309 and 75 and 75 cents. Did everybody else 75. get that? 41,309 and 75. And multiply that by two. 82,618, 619.5. Yes, sir. I don't forgot what I just said. 82,619.5. That is what they owe Uncle Sam as two single people. Somebody add this up for me over here. I can tell you right now, it's going to be more than what they owe two singles. Because so 34 and 22. Heck, that's 56 right there. And then another 20,000, that's 76. And then another 8,000, 76. It's going to be 8, that's going to be 84. Yeah, this is going to be 85. This will be going to be 86,000 over here. Somebody tell me what you get. Eighty-seven thousand one hundred fifty-three. Eighty-seven thousand one hundred fifty-three and what? Uh, it, that's what it came Even. out of. Eighty-seven one fifty-three. Okay, so it comes out that they cheaper doing what? Single. See, that's why people should stay single. Yeah. Your life is a whole lot better off when you stay single. <laughs> oh, well, let's yeah. go to our handy-dandy question and see what they ask. Their income tax, calculate their, end, their, delay their marriage, round to the nearest dollar. So I got 82,620. 82,620. Number lock. 82,620. Calculate if they marry. 87,153. And check. Well, does the couple face a marriage penalty if they marry before the end of the year? Married rate to play, blah, 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 blah. Does the couple face a marriage penalty? What what the hell they mean a marriage penalty? I don't know nothing about a marriage penalty. Uh, I would say they lose money if that's what they're asking. Pay the couple is less than the amount they would owe by filling a single tax rate is more. I would say yes because they pay. I, I don't I don't know what a tax penalty is unless they're talking about losing money. Does the couple face, does the couple lose money if they marry before the end of the year? I would say yes, but I'm not a Philadelphia lawyer or an accountant, so y'all need to ask y'all accountant people and see if that's what marriage penalty means. They lose money. I don't know why they can't just say lose money. I'm 66% right. Let's see what the answers are so I, can, I don't feel like going through that. Could be a rounding error. No, I got the numbers right, didn't I? No, this one's off. Okay, y'all write it down. We got this one right, didn't we? No, we didn't get that one right either. Write the answers down. And yes, I did get C right, so that's good. But 83,180, I got 82,620. 
So I must have left out something. Did anybody get that? Y'all not going to talk to me. No. And 89,793. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know how they got it unless they unless we did some calculation That's wrong. Funny. That's the way you're supposed to do it. So write that one down and write that one down. And the answer is C. I could have. Make sure, add 6350 and 4050, and then 127, and then 4050 times 2. Add those up and see if you come up with 10,400 and 20,800. Make sure I did those two right. I'll just take the calculator and do it. What was those numbers again? These two right here, 6350 and 4050. 6350 plus 4050. 10,400. You got that. Yes, sir. Minus 183. 183 <clears throat> minus second answer. 172,600. Okay, let's do the other one. Um, twelve seven, twelve seven plus parentheses forty fifty times two. Close parentheses. Twenty thousand eight hundred. Okay, 360 minus second answer, 339,200. Okay, evidently we've got an error with the multiplication or the adding. So <clears throat> you need to take a look at it and see if you can add those up. I'm not going to do it because it takes take me twice as long with this mouse. So you need to add, let me show you what, uh, y'all need to basically redo what I just did right here and add those numbers up because we're hitting about the same area as the question, but we're just a little bit off. So that tells me that we're probably got a, a, a calculation error or a What's the difference here? Six thousand dollars, right? And we got a difference of five thousand dollars. So we're about in the right area. So go ahead and check those numbers on your own time and we're gonna move on, okay? If you find the error, holler it out so we can fix it. All right. Next. Find the savings plan balance after nine months. We did one of these, right? Yes. Okay. The only one we haven't done is the one for Priority lifetime. One coming in on secure channel. Let me make sure that ain't somebody. Yes, yeah, for the next class. Okay. There's another one of those, but this one is just one person. I think I gave y'all two hours on this test, didn't I? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Continuous compounding. That's per. We did this one the other day. So we did that one. Student loan. We did that one, but it wasn't as much as twelve thousand five hundred. It was like eight thousand or something. Six thousand. We'll move on. I'm trying to find a certain question. All right. This is just like the house payment we just did. Assume a balance of 3,200 cards you want to pay off. There you go. This is a real payment right here. Let's do this one. Because that interest rate is about the same as a credit card if you get one today. So 3,200 times 0.22 
over 12 over 1 minus 1 plus 0.22 over 12 raised to the negative what is 12 times 3 36 yes 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 sir negative 36 all right crank that out i just did it for you over here there we go and let's see how much you're gonna do on that well i've got the answer mark so let me turn this off we got 10 more minutes Oh, I had a meeting with the president yesterday. He has these office hours that you can call in, and I call in on every single one of them just to irritate. And uh, he said, how's it going? I said, great. I said, I'm meeting with my classes. I said, 10% Skype in. I said, I do have one class. I was talking about y'all, 103. I said, more than 10% Skype in. And uh, we talked, and uh, he said that it was basically a total cluster that 90% of the teachers were scrambling around with like a chicken with their head cut off. And I said, I told you. He said, yeah, you've been telling us for the last three years. I said, yep. <laughs> and uh, I told him of an experiment I wanted to do with a portable whiteboard that the people that make this uh, document cam, um, mm. they make a portable whiteboard. So I'm going to try that out. And uh, I asked him at the end, I said, but I got one problem, and uh, he said, what? I said, I can't figure out how to do the posters on the Internet. And he said, bye, Hubert, and he hung up on me. <laughs> so he did laugh. So I got, my, I, got my, I got my two cents worth in. So here we go. Let's take our fraction. And the reason I'm doing this one is this is, this is the one that gives everybody problems. But there's still one more I want to show you that we haven't done yet. 0.22 divided by 12. And that is our fraction. So I'm going to hit stove, alpha, fraction. Now, if you want to go ahead and multiply that by 3,200, you can do that times 3,200. And that is our numerator. I'm going to stow that in stow alpha uh, numerator. 58.66 repeating. 58. 0.66 repeating over okay now clear I'm going to say 1 plus alpha fraction equals raised to the negative 36 power 1 minus second answer 0.48 dot dot dot. It's amazing how quick you can get these calculators, isn't it? By the time you do five or six of these, you should be more proficient on your calculator. And did I save that in the denominator? I better save it. Stove alpha denominator. Alpha numerator divided by alpha denominator equals a payment of 122.21. dollars 21 Multiply that by 36. Multiplied by 36. And how much did you pay for that credit card? Four thousand four thousand forty four hundred dollars. Forty four hundred is what you paid to use that credit card for thirty two hundred dollars. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff they don't want you to know. Let me ask you a question. Since you've graduated high school, if you'd known this, would you have done things different since you've been out of high school? You don't have to answer, but there you go. There it is. Four, there it is. 
All right, next, I'm trying to find a question that... Okay, compound interest, y'all know how to do that. Y'all know how to do that. This is a calculate the monthly payment for a loan. Okay, that's that's credit card, mortgage. Oh, I might not even put it on here. I might have taken it off. Okay, Final credit card. Coming in on secured channel. Consider an account with APR. Find the APY. We, we did APY the other day. Quarterly compounding. So we did that the other day. That's, that's another credit card. I might have taken it off. You know, this is just gross income. You're just subtracting that. Here we go. No, that's not it. How much should you deposit? Okay, this is it. This is one. Now, the, the, I want you to write down in, in with this one. The, you remember the question we did where the, you wanted a retirement of $50,000 a year for the rest of your life? You remember that? Yes, sir. Write that one down because that's the one I was looking for. All right, so I'm going to take a second and try to find mine. You write this problem down. Now, this one is not for the rest of your life. This is just a monthly, uh, how much should you... To accumulate eighty-three thousand dollars in sixteen years. So I got to try to find that formula because I don't want to look it up. I think it's back this way. Priority one message coming in oh, on your channel. Well, I'm trying to find it, but I'm not having much luck. Who in the world's calling me? Pay it off. Never. What is this? That's not it. I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. Does anybody have that one in their notes that I can copy from? I should have looked for it. It's the one that we had. Man wanted to make fifty thousand a year or have fifty thousand coming in for the rest of his life. It was at seven percent. Here we go, wait a minute. I think I got it. Would like to retire. Okay, here we go. All right, I want y'all to just remember this question. Okay, I think this is the one I'm talking about. It says, let me hit focus and make it bigger for y'all. Suppose you are 35 years old and would like to retire at age 60. Y'all remember this question? 
Yes, sir. Okay. You would like to have a retirement fund from which you can draw an income of 150000 per year. How much would you need to deposit each month to do this? Assume 7%. I knew it was 7%. And the compounding and payment periods are the same. Now remember, with this one, you want uh, you want to do 150,000 per year for forever. This one is not forever. This one is just so. There's two type of questions here. There is this type question, which is forever, and that's where you do the 0 0.07 or the A is this right here, that big number that we got. By taking the 0 0.07 and dividing by, I didn't put it on here. We divided. Shoot. Can somebody find this question in your notes? I can't remember. You take 0 0.07. Oh, I know. Somebody take your cal. I'll do it. Where's your calculator? Where's my calculator? I'm trying to do two things at one time. Y'all just have to excuse me. Uh, let's say. Point 150,000 divided by divided by point zero seven twenty one four there it is all right that's what you do now in this in this problem and the problem that you're talking about the college fund you don't have to do this step right here because it's not forever does everybody understand that. Yes. Thank you, one person. I appreciate that. Okay, so with this one, and I'm going to hurry up because some of y'all are going to combust. In this one, you don't need forever. Suppose that your fund, blah, blah, blah. Okay, how much should you deposit to accumulate 83000 in 16 years? So T is equal to 16. Um, your principal is equal, you're going to set it equal to 18,000, P is equal to 83,000, that's what you want. The N is equal to 12, because you put monthly payments, and R is equal to 0 0.05. Payment is equal to 83,000 point zero five over 12 over 1 plus point zero five over 12 raised to the NT. What's 12 times 16? Somebody give me, well, 12, what's 12 times 16? That'd be 160 plus 32, Two. What is it? Yeah. 192 sure. minus 1. And when you crank all that out, you should get $283.04 a month. That was the problem I was looking for. Now, this problem and this problem are the ones that we haven't covered. Okay, we, we just, well... If you do this math, you'll get $283.04. And if you do this, and remember, the difference between these two is this one says what? Forever. Forever, forever, ever. Okay. I'm just going to go through and look at the next few just to let y'all see it before y'all convulse. Let's... Uh, we only got like four more. They're probably bonus questions. Okay, now, okay. Okay, this one is another one. That's three. So you got three income tax questions. Should you do those first? Yes. You should do the income tax questions first. And you should practice some income tax questions before you, you know, shut up. Uh, bonus. 
you put in four hundred dollars of asset investment. This is the one you put in the payment. So that's the one where the payment is in the formula. We did one of those in the class. I mean, we did one of those uh, last Monday. And compound interest. Okay. Any questions? And now, we are going to spend the next couple of weeks doing a couple of sections out of that unit. I'm on your, this is for y'all as well as the as the people that watch the video. Let me go pull out your uh, outline, and I will tell you what we're going to be doing. We're going to spend probably three. Here we go, right here, probably. 2A and 2B, I don't know. We're not going to spend a lot of time on it. This is y'all, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to spend... Uh, you're talking about a test on the last day of class, which is the 20, 20th. So what's today? Today is the 8th. So on the 20th, you're going to have a test on Unit 2, and it's basically going to be like 10 questions. And I don't know where it's going to come from. I think... I'll have to look at my homework. No. Let's look at the handouts and see if no. Now it's unit four. Yeah, it's unit four now. And I oh hold on a minute. Let me do this. I'll tell you what it's on because I'll use last semester's test and show you what it's on. Unit four. Chapter two and three. There it is, right there. Priority one okay. message coming in on security. So, now, on the last day of class, which is the 20th, this test, these two tests, will enable on the last day of class. That means you've got seven days to do these two tests. Is everybody with me? Anything yes. I cover yes, up until the 20th, Anything I cover will be on that last test right here. The final exam, you have two attempts, two hours apiece, takes the higher of the two, and it looks like to me I just used three and seven. I'll have to look at that because I don't know if that's, that's three through seven. So I did chapters three through seven. So that means it covers all of this stuff right here. Okay. How do you review for the test? You go to your grade book. You do test. Go to grade book. Where's y'all's grade book? Right here. Hit test. When it comes up. And hit review. And you can review your test. Well, I don't have any, so let me go to homework. Do the same thing with homework. Review right there. Okay. All right, we'll talk more about that later. I'm just telling you now because we're winding down and y'all shouldn't be spazzing. If y'all have got a good grade on y'all's unit test and you've been working on homework, then you're good to go. We're downhill now because we just did the hardest section. We just did chapter four. Chapter four is the hardest test by far. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, any questions for me? All right, I will see y'all Friday, and we'll probably be going into that new material, okay? Get it done. What? I think he said.